And then we have Marty Jannetty. Marty Jannetty was in the news this week. He did an interview with Steve Fall for the website Wrestling News CO. And it was up on YouTube. You know it's going to be a rough interview when Marty has to apologize for his voice because he's been drinking. But during the interview, he was asked to describe what Hulk Hogan was like. And Jannetty said that Hogan is a great guy and he remembered partying with him. He said loved him. He's a great guy. He would throw parties. Oh my God, those parties he would throw. He would invite everybody. But for the Florida boys, which I was at the time, he would have, and he lost his thought. He'd go, we would go out on a three-level ship because he lives in Tampa Bay. He would always invite all of us. Now, I would caution you. As much as Hulk Hogan lies, Marty Jannetty is hardly a model of truth-telling. So keep that in mind here, because Jannetty was asked to describe a Hulk Hogan party. He talked about all the food and all the drinks, and then he claimed that Hogan had a gumball machine filled with drugs at his front door. You would twist the machine, I guess he means the handle, and an assortment of drugs would just fall out. Yes, syringes filled with anabolic steroids. No. Well, maybe. I mean, who knows? But Janetti claimed it was filled with drugs. He said, I'm not going to say the drugs part, but food, drink. And when I say drinks, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he laughs like, like butthead. One time, don't get mad at me. I'm sorry, brother. Just once. He had, when you walked in the front door, you know those gumball machines? You just turn. It was mixed drugs. And you would turn it and you would take whatever comes out. You could go back to the gumball machine, but when you walk in, it's right there when you walk in the front door and just turn it and three or four or five pills would just fall out. Yeah, you know, I'm reminded. I, I once went to an office Christmas party where they emptied the water coolers and they just filled them with jungle juice. Like the CEO did it. The CEO. And I thought that was wild. I never thought to check the gumball machine. But again, it's Marty Jannetty. You need to be skeptical of anything the man says. But Hogan giving candy to the boys like it's Halloween, that's not so unbelievable to me. And finally, after being asked what he wants to be remembered for the most, Jannetty said, Sex. What else am I going to say? Remember my wrestling? I'm not going to remember Marty for his wrestling. It'll be for all the shit they covered in his Dark Side of the Ring episode. And that one Facebook post. You know which one I'm talking about. Fightful is reporting that former MLW heavyweight champion Alex Hammerstone has asked for his release from his MLW contract. And although Hammerstone has not been informed of MLW's decision, Fightful is reporting that as of right now, it looks like MLW does not intend to grant Hammerstone's request. Hammerstone is a former MLW world champion. He won the title in 2021, and it was in December of that year that he signed a new multi-year contract with MLW that reportedly runs all the way through the end of 2025. And Fightful notes that the relationship between Hammerstone and the company has become frayed. With Hammerstone wanting to leave the company, a buyout was brought up when the two sides were in communication earlier this year. MLW wants to retain him and has been in contact with him, and the report notes that that from MLW's perspective, and again, this is their side of things, Hammerstone's motivation decreased when he was booked to lose their world title to Alex Kane earlier this year. And in fact, that was the last match that he had with MLW when he dropped the belt to Alex Kane in July. If you've never seen Alex Hammerstone before, the guy looks like Thor. I mean, he, he's a big fish, literally, in a small pond. And just, just by his own look... You know the WWE would have great interest in doing something with him. I think he'll be a star wherever he lands. It sounds like he's ready to bust out and go to WWE or AEW. You know, Jacob Fatu is another one who was under contract with MLW who could be huge in WWE. He would fit right into the bloodline. But he's another one who I think is locked down to a long-term deal. The other thing with Hammerstone is he was part of a faction years ago in MLW called the Dynasty with MJF and Richard Holiday. Holiday beat Hodgkin's lymphoma last year. 
He became a free agent in April. As far as I know, he's still a free agent, but he did have a tryout recently with WWE. I don't know how that went. If Hammerstone suddenly became available, if I'm Tony Khan, not that he doesn't have enough talent as it is, but if I'm Tony Khan, I'd snatch both these guys up, and at some point, it doesn't have to be right away, but at some point, pair them back up with MJF again. You do a dynasty reunion, but on a bigger scale. That's what I think you do.